Redshift in Cinema 4D. So in this quick tip, I wanted to show you how you can get the alpha channel to render correctly with your refractive materials inside of Redshift. I'm in the latest versions of C4D and Redshift. And in this simple scene here, I have this blender. And don't worry, the blender is free. It actually comes with Cinema 4D and you can find it in the Asset Manager if you search for Blender. So this scene is very simple. Um, it's being lit only by the dome light and I've got a GSG HDR here. And if I fire up the Redshift render view, we have the blender on black background. So we wanna be able to take this uh, render into a compositing application like After Effects so we can put in our own background. And if I render out a frame, let's do this. Let's render out a frame. Let's go to the desktop here. Let's bring this into After Effects. Let's bring this here, great. And let's create a new composition. And uh, the pink is actually the um, the alpha channel, you'll see right here. And you can immediately see that the issue, what the issue is with the alpha channel, it's not rendering correctly. To fix this, let's go back into Cinema 4D and we'll go over to the render settings. And then we will select Redshift here and make sure that you're on the advanced tab. And then you're going to go to systems and you're going to scroll all the way down until you see legacy right here. And then you're going to twirl it down and you're going to go about halfway down right here. And you'll see this option refraction effects alpha channel. And if you check this little checkbox, nothing visually changes in the render view. But if you click on the little RGB button here, you'll see the alpha channel. So let me uncheck this so you can see what I'm talking about. So there it is without with the uh, checkbox unchecked. So if we check that checkbox, now the alpha channel is showing up correctly. So now let's uh, render out a frame. And as soon as I go back to After Effects, it's rendering correctly. So that's it for this particular quick tip. Please do me a solid like, subscribe, share this tutorial far and wide. Anything you can do to support this channel is greatly appreciated. And as always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I try to read and respond to all of them. Thank you again so much. And until next time, stay frosty and keep creating. Oh,